now simple feature tense zone how can we construct positive sentence negative sentence and a questioning sentence in simple future tense let us see so far we have seen construction of these three respective sentences in simple present tense zone and simple past tense zone now coming to simple future tense zone we also have got the structure that subject plus will plus v1 it's a common known structure for all of us now when we convert this into this structure this becomes this way rupa will write a novel okay i have taken a simple sentence that rupa will write a novel this is the required structure this is how we formed subject plus will plus write is v1 plus enlargement of the sentence so combination of this structure the sentence existed is this rupa will write a letter as we have converted the existing sentence into other form in the three two respective zones like with does and do as well as did we need not to convert this into another form because it itself is an existing form and it has got no other form for it okay so we need not to express it in another form directly it can be dealt as it is why did we convert this into another form because to make our examples more easier and relevant for us to understand that is the reason we have converted that is the reason we have converted rupa writes a novel into she does writes a novel in the same way rupa wrote a novel got converted into rupa did write a novel so from did write a novel it again became rupa did not write a novel it converted it got converted into negative sentence but here in future tense no such headaches takes place we can directly deal with the example itself okay so we all know that this is a positive sentence how can you convert this into negative sentence very simple technique that is adding not in the sentence after the helping verb right where is the helping verb correct it is will so if you add not beside will automatically the complete sentence gets converted into a negative sentence so it can be formed in this manner rupa just let me change the sketch so that uh, it's more easy for you to understand rupa will plus not so it becomes will not write a novel rupa will not write a novel after adding not to the sentence my positive statement become a negative statement okay so that means from this what did we understand the structure formed for this negative sentence is this rupa is subject plus will is as it is it's a helping verb will plus not plus what is right what form of verb is right here correct it is v1 plus this a novel is called enlargement of the sentence subject plus will plus not plus v1 plus enlargement it's something like examples i will go to delhi next week i'm saying i will go to delhi next week that is my positive sentence how can i convert that into negative sentence 
let me put it on the board so that it is more easy for you to understand my sentence is this i will go to delhi next week this is my sentence and i say this is my positive sentence and in fact this is in simple future tense if you would like to convert this into negative sentence according to the structure that i provided here then this sentence becomes this way i will when does where does the not takes place beside will so beside will what is here go is here that means not should come in in between will and go then it becomes i will not go to delhi next week i will not go to delhi next week this has become my negative sentence my positive sentence is i will go to delhi and my negative sentence is i will not go to delhi same way i would like to provide you with one more example my friend will visit my house tomorrow my friends will visit my house tomorrow my friends will visit our house tomorrow this is my example now how can you convert this into a negative sentence where is the subject here is it my or my friend my friend together is stated as a subject it's not single my okay so my friend together is called a subject here when you convert this into a negative sentence this becomes like this my friend will not visit our house tomorrow that is a negative sentence so it is something like my friends will not visit our house tomorrow this is quite this way that we have to write it <clears throat> there's a certain examples to express positive sentences and negative sentences in the simple future tense okay so in every sentence the subject that we took is a singular subject this is a singular subject this is a singular subject and this rupa even is a singular subject likewise raj and ramesh raj and ramesh how many subjects am i speaking here about how many subjects am i speaking here i'm speaking about two subjects right one is raj and the other is rupa raj and rupa will visit our house tomorrow how do you convert this into a negative sentence just add not after will it's very simple to convert that into a negative sentence when you add not after will it becomes this way raj and rupa or raj and ramesh will not visit our house tomorrow this way a negative sentence is formed this is structure for negative sentences subject plus will plus not plus v1 plus enlargement this is a negative sentence in the simple future tense is it clear students okay now we have one more example that is construction of a question by means of a positive sentence in the simple future tense okay construction of a question by using positive sentence see the required example for me here once again i'm copying here 
Once again, I'm copying here the same example. I'm copying here. Rupa will write a novel. This is my example. Now, I finished converting the positive sentence into negative sentence. Now, my duty is to convert a positive questioning sentence. How do I do that? Only one technique that we are following right from the beginning that is just interchanging the words. Just interchanging these two particular words can form a new question for us that is will takes the beginning place that is the place of the subject and subject goes to the place of will now it became will rupa rupa will became will rupa write a novel a novel is a external part of the sentence write a novel write from write a novel it has to be copied as it is in the sentence only one thing what you have to concentrate is just interchanging the helping verb and the subject in their places interchange the places of the subject and helping verb then automatically a question word is formed for you okay if you would like to convert this into a negative question how do you do this negative question all right won't will not becomes won't will not is equal to won't right so in that case it can be formed like this won't rupa write a novel this is one of the form of questions so this is called a negative question and this is called a positive question of course as i was telling you from the beginning onwards we have something more to do with positive questions rather than with negative questions only at the time of question tags we take the help of negative questions so right now we are bit ignoring our negative questions and most of the time we are concentrating on the positive questions so these are the examples with singular subjects how many subjects are we speaking about one subject that is rupa and here also one subject that is rupa and here also one subject that is rupa this is a positive sentence negative sentence and a questioning sentence so now you usually understood how to construct a question so that means you can yourself construct a structure for this also right okay now let us construct the structure what is the questioning structure for simple future tense this is the structure will plus subject plus v1 plus enlargement okay it is enlargement this is the question format will rupa write a novel will my uncle bring the desktop tomorrow will you come to my home tomorrow okay will the meeting held in the next week okay there are many examples which can be expressed in future of course we speak very less in future most of the time we speak more in present and past tense but still we should understand how to construct a simple structures like positive sentence negative sentence and questioning sentences in simple tenses simple future tenses also okay students so so far we have dealt many examples with singular subjects and i would like to give you some examples with plural subjects the plural subjects are this now instead of rupa i would like to take my subject as a plural subject
my subject is this. Amit and Anish. Amit and Anish will write a novel. Amit and Anit will write a novel. Okay students, tell me how many subjects am I speaking here about? Correct, I am speaking about two people Amit and Anish. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. That means it stated that the subject is plural here. The subject mentioned is plural. Okay. So, how did this sen sentence got constructed? What is the structure for this? This is subject plus will plus v1 plus enlargement. This is my structure and I say this is my positive sentence. This is my positive sentence. Now, I would like to convert this into my negative sentence. As I told you, I need not to re rewrite it and again as I did it with the previous two zones like write a novel became does write a novel and wrote a novel became did wrote a novel, right? And here it is not at all required even though we are dealing something with plural subject, okay? Singular or plural, it will not take place again and again because already it is crystal clear for us according to the structure wise. Alright. Now what we have to do is it is our duty to directly rush into the next level of this positive structure. When you convert this into negative structure, what should we supposed to do here? Just adding not in the sentence. Where do you add not? Very good. That is beside will. The not should take place in between the helping verb will and the main verb v1. If you add not in between these two areas, then the required sentence becomes a negative sentence. Now let's see how it is forming. Now Amit and Anish will write a novel. Sorry. Uh, in fact, I am preparing negative sentences. So, will not write a novel. Can you see this place? Not. Adding of not. We have added not in the sentence. That is in simple future tense. Sorry. Yeah. Simple future tense with plural subject. This is plural subject. And when we add not beside will, this automatically became negative sentence. So, from this sentence, we can understand very easily that the structure formed is plural subject plus will plus not plus v1 plus enlargement. So, this is the structure form for the plural subject in order to convert this into a negative statement. Okay. Now, I have got couple of examples with me and you have to convert those examples into the negative sentences. Okay. Before converting that into negative sentences, would you ask me to go for the negative contraction for this or shall we do it later? Yeah, okay, we will do it later. First, we will discuss with the examples. Then after discussing the couple of examples, then we can fly to the negative contractions of the sentences with simple future tense. Okay. Now, my example is this. My example. My mother will scold at me if I do if I misbehave 
my mother will scold at me my mother will scold me if i misbehave this is my example my mother will scold me if i miss behave the action has not yet completed but it might happen in future or might not happen right but still this statement says that there are less possibilities that it might happen so the girl is saying that if i miss behave my mother will scold me that means so far she has not misbehaved if she misbehaves in future definitely she is going to get scoldings from her mother this is which sentence is this correct this is a positive sentence now how can you convert this into a negative sentence here the mother is shown negatively right all the mothers are quite negative in this area because they want the ch child to be the best in this world so always they want the child to lead in a right path so whenever they commit any mistake or show perform any misbehavior definitely all the mothers are ready enough to scold their kids now i'm going to convert this mother into a very good mother by adding not here see when you convert this positive sentence into a negative sentence it is formed in this way how is it formed can i have some examples very good my mother where where the not should come yes exactly beside will beside will so it is like this my mother will not scold me will not scold me if i misbehave so here the mother is very good and she loves her child very much but finally the mother is responsible in this area for the child's misbehavior so i hope all the mothers should not be should not be like this whenever it is time to correct their children all the mothers has to correct and mothers always correct their child children right so of course this is one of the examples so we are do, uh, dealing this way don't worry and my mother will not scold me if i misbehave this has become our negative sentence now i would like to take one more sentence i will okay my friends will visit agra fort my friends will visit agra fort means they have not even yet visited now they are going to visit in the future they are going to visit in future proper time is not mentioned here in our statement because in fact we are dealing with simple sentences so i am saying that my friends will visit agra fort this is a simple positive sentence i mean the positive sentence which is in the simple future tense okay now how can i convert this into a negative sentence yes very good where should you add not very good beside will so this will be like this friends will not visit agra fort this is a negative sentence in simple future tense and this is a negative sentence in simple future tense if i remove not here this becomes simple future tense positive sentence and even and if i add not here this becomes simple future tense negative sentence is it clear students now if examples are provided like this can you convert those simple future tense positive sentences into negative sentences even in the examinations a question is given convert the following sentence into a respective negative sentence and the options will be like this see for example the question is like this for you let me help you out here in this area how they use it in the examinations this is a question for you okay this is a question in examination okay this is a question for you in the examination and they ask you like this my mother will cook food 
and he asks you convert this into negative sentence and he gives you four options my mother does not cook food and option b my mother will not cook food and option c my mother do not cook food and option d my mother did not cook food okay did not cook food i have got four options with me the question provided for you on the question paper is this my mother will cook food and this sentence he asked you to convert this into negative sentence and these are the provided negative sentences on the answer sheet according to their options the first option is this my mother does not cook food second option my mother will not cook food and uh, option 3 my mother do not cook food and option d my mother did not cook food just to have a look every sentence is correct sentence for us and all the structures are correct structures but what is the relevant answer for the question required what is the required relevant answer for the question that is provided very good that is option b why it is option b and this is the answer for the question my mother will not cook food why is why this is the answer for this question because see here the helping verb that is provided is will okay and in fact this is a statement to convert this just when you add not beside will it automatically becomes a negative sentence but here in each and every sentence we have not here we have not but the not was combined with one more word one is with does other is with do and next is with did okay of course according to the statement three are correct but according to this question this is the most relevant answer will just converted into will not so answer is b this is the area most of the students get confusion so students don't get confusion in this area learning this negative sentences leaves more and more space for us to learn more and more and at the time of competitive examinations we can easily pick up the options in a very less time okay so i hope you understood this all right so converting the positive sentence into negative sentence and this is the required structure for the negative sentence now students i would like to introduce you converting the positive sentence into a question yeah before going to question we promised that i would be converting this into negative contraction okay yeah let's do that how can you convert this into negative contraction negative contraction amit and anish amit and anish so will not becomes will not is a two word two word combination of two words it's a helping verb of a combination of two words now we are just confusing it we are just bringing it to one making it into one word that is won't amit and anish won't write novel amit and anish won't write novels this is the negative contraction now converting this into a question so to convert that i would like to utilize once again uh, i'm just rubbing this to have a uh, space for the next example to be dealt students now it's time for us to convert this positive sentence into a questioning sentence the sentence that i have here is amit and anish will write a novel 
Now, how can you convert this into a negative sentence? Sorry, uh, questioning sentence. We have always got a technique for us, right? What is the technique? Just, okay, I'm dropping this. This is subject and this is verb. Just interchange these two. Interchange the places of these two particular words. Will occupies the first place and Amit and Anish. Will Amit and Anish write a novel? Will Amit and Anish write a novel? So, this is the required question format for the positive sentence. This positive sentence can easily convert it into a questioning sentence by interchanging the places of those two particular words. Now, by means of this sentence, we also can give structure to this. What is this? Will. Questioning structure for plural uh, subject a simple future tense is will plus plural subject plus v1 and plus simple enlargement this is the structure and with this with the simple future tense we have constructed three sentences one is positive sentence next is negative sentence and the other is the questioning sentence we have dealt with positive negative and questioning sentences with the sim singular subject and also we have dealt positive negative and questioning sentences with plural subject okay let me show you one example how this is going to be an effective part at the time of examinations and I am going to have one more example with me that is Shah will take care of the baby Shah will Shah will take care of the baby okay Mr. Shah will take care of the baby now my question in the examination is convert this sentence into a positive question form this is my question okay I have given a question Mr. Shah will take care of the baby now I asked you to convert this into a positive question how do you do this and it's very simple I am provided with three options and all the three options looks alike for me. Does Mr. Shah take care of the baby? This is my first option and my next option did Mr. Shah take care of the baby this is my second option and my third option will Mr. Shah take care of the baby and my fourth option is this will Mr. Shah takes care of the baby 
here I have I am provided with four options on the examination paper and my question is this Mr. Shaw will take care of the baby and I asked you to convert this into a positive question form now see my first option goes this way does Mr. Shaw take care of the baby is one question and next did Mr. Shaw take care of the baby my second option and my third option will Mr. Shaw take care of the baby and my fourth option follows this way will Mr. Shaw takes care of the baby so what do you feel the correct option for this question provided D correct is it D and we know very well that these two are not at all applicable these two can be eliminated because one started one of the questions started with the does does always indicates simple present singular subject and did, all, did is for the past tense in fact will itself mentions that this statement belongs to future tense right and the confusion is between two options here see you should be very careful in this area in the option C and option C will is provided we have got will in option C as well as option D and it got started with Mr. Shah and Mr. Shah according to the rule when such questions are given these two words has to be interchanged and the same procedure has been followed here and will took the first place subject place and Mr. Shah took the place of verb and even in this option D will took the place of subject and Mr. Shah took the place of verb okay helping verb now what has to be focused this is also correct and this is also correct both of them are correct then now come to the third area third part take takes so according to the structures what is the structure that is provided for the question formats that is will plus subject plus v1 this is the structure that we are following okay now when you focus on these two particular words take and takes what is takes take is v1 and takes is v5 of course this is all stands for the enlargement of the sentence okay so according to this what is the correct option for us exactly you are right according to this option c is the correct option option because the structure is will plus subject plus v1 the required structure for question format is will plus subject plus v1 but here in the question paper the questionnaire has given a confused uh, forms here just to confuse the candidate so in one of the option v1 is provided and in the other option v5 is provided out of overlook we just click this answer and come away out of the of, uh, of just click it and come off from the examination hall but when you focus on the question this is the concerned answer for the relevant question okay this is the required answer why according to the structure this got suited very well and always v5 doesn't take with the combination of will is it clear students okay so with this we have ended the explanation of simple tenses as a whole let us rewind once again simple tenses are three types of tenses we have one is simple present tense simple past tense and simple future tense in the simple present tense we have dealt with positive negative and questioning sentences with respective to singular subject and plural subject and we also dealt with simple past tense that was for construction of positive negative and questioning sentences the same as with future tense also that means simple future tense so out of these three tenses today we have learned three sigza how much three sigza how many tenses we have learned how many sentences we have learned 12 12 plus 12 24 sentences means 
12 sentences with the singular subjects and 12 sentences with plural subjects right yes okay so remaining remaining sentences we are going to learn when we deal with the next tenses that is continuous tenses as of now today we are going to wind up the session and we are going to continue our next session with continuous tenses thank you very much